Recently in Hunter Call of the Wild, we were given AR-15s, such as these right here. We have the 308, which is great. We tried it out on last video, it done phenomenal. We have the 22. I don't even know if I've shot it yet. But then we have the 223, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're going hunting strictly with 223s, unfortunately. Now, the good thing about 223s is that they are very cheap. However, from my experience, they do have trouble killing things. Regardless, that's what we're testing here today. We're gonna to be testing it out on a lot of different animals, so just hold on, we're getting into this. But before we do actually shoot anything, let's look and see what it says it's good at. So it's good for predators, small deer, and pigs. We'll see about that. We need to find some pronghorn. If there's gonna be anything on this map, it's gonna be a pronghorn that this thing can actually take out. I do know from experience, the 223 in the game, definitely has problems trying to take out even a white-tailed deer and a lot of times it'll take two Tracks shots even if you hit it perfectly now potentially with this ar it could allow us to do quick follow-up shots which could make up for the difference all right there's a pronghorn that's exactly what we're looking for we're just going to get a little bit closer though we don't want to take too far shots at the 223 even though the 223 is more than capable of reaching it by the time it gets that far away it's lost a lot of its speed and speed is directly correlated to knockdown power all right they're about 200 yards away it shouldn't be a problem let me go ahead and pull it out and i'll try to go for a heart shot i do know that if i can get a heart shot i should be in good shape probably should even be able to knock it down as is no nah, i ain't doing that they're going the wrong way all right guys we've spotted some more pronghorn and it looks like they're actually coming our way so that's pretty good they're coming right towards us they're gonna come right in front of us that's pretty important guys they're gonna give us a close shot that way there's no room for error. I'm gonna take that one right there. As soon as he gets broadside, should be about 100 yards. It should be pretty easy. As soon as he slows down enough to where I can make a shot, I'm gonna take it. He's not slowing down at all, is he? All right, that should do it right there. Let's see, I can see him, I can see him. I'm just, we're just gonna watch him, guys. We're gonna watch him till he goes down, if he goes down. All right, I'll put another shot on him. Let's see what we can do here. Guys, just looking at it, it didn't look like we have too much luck right there. I even shot it twice because I, you know, I just got a little impatient. I can't tell for certain which one I shot at. I didn't keep track of it. I kind of just unleashed on that bear, but okay, there's our, there's our target. Let me find another one. Let me just shoot it once. I'm going to go right here. Chest shot should get us at least one lung. All right, that should be at least a long shot. We are gonna only shoot this one twice. We're really gonna keep up with it. So we're just gonna track it as far as I can track it. And we're just gonna see what happens. We'll go up and analyze the shot later. But I'm just saying, guys, for uh, for any kind of deer-sized game, even a small deer, I don't think 223 is the move. And I'm talking even in real life, too. Especially in real life. I just don't think 223 is the move. Like, yeah, you can kill a deer with a 223. I've done it before in real life. But it was really hard to find. Now... I did accidentally shoot it with FMJs, but regardless, 223s just have trouble delivering enough destructive power to a deer, especially at range. If you're 20 yards from it, probably do better than if you're 150. At 150, the bullets, man, the bullet's only that big. It just, it has a hard time doing stuff. I shot this thing right in the chest and it's not went down yet. And this is a video game. Keep that in mind. This is a video game. Usually you shoot them here, they go straight down. I don't even know what to do, guys. Like, is it safe to say she's not going down? Should I shoot her again or what? Should I just wait? All right, there's a second shot. On target, everything looked good. How much further can she go? I'm just going to have to keep putting them on her. That's the only way we're going to get her down, is keep putting them on her. I just hit her with four shots and she ain't down yet. That's not good. This is not a deer caliber. That's not a secret to anybody. 223 is not the move for deer. And if it is going to be the move, you better get a really good hunting bullet. One that goes in and really explodes. So here's the first pronghorn. I shot it twice. Well, you know, I'll be honest. That first shot didn't necessarily help its odds, okay? Maybe I need to try again. There goes one, there goes one, there goes one. Should have been a good shot. Let's just see where it goes. Is that a dead bison?
This is ridiculous, man. You can't hunt with this thing. I think the important thing to take away from this is that pronghorn are on the bigger side of the 223 spectrum. Almost so high on the spectrum. They probably just shouldn't take the shot. After we go collect this pronghorn, we're gonna go to a different map and we're gonna hunt some red fox. Red fox are a perfect target for 223. As for this big old animal over here, this is the black bear that I shot a single lung and it killed it. This isn't really helping our thesis here that the 223 is underpowered, but I mean, I'll take it, I guess. We've tracked this thing over 200 yards, shot it three times, I believe, and it's still 75 to 100%. We're not even gonna find it, dude. We gotta leave this place. We just ain't gonna do no good like that. Let's go try to get some red fox, cause that's what this thing's really gonna be built to do. If you're using a hammer to nail in screws, it ain't gonna work too good for you. The same way as if you use a 223 for deer hunting. We're just gonna get over here on a big rock, get in a good place where we can see a lot, and then just hit the call, and hopefully we'll bring in a red fox right into range, and we'll just, we'll just shoot it. Whenever there's a moose, that's nice. If we can get right here, this will give us a pretty good vantage point. I say let's just get behind this, sit, sit down beside this rock, start calling. <coughs> now we gotta watch, cause uh, they'll come from anywhere. Just gonna call and scan. We're gonna do that until eventually we got a red fox that's really close to us. All right guys, I had a little trouble finding some red fox, but uh, how about we go for something a little bigger? How about a gray wolf? I'm just saying, guys, I could get myself into a lot of trouble. Now, these are bigger than Red Fox, and we do have to understand that. Regardless, I feel like a 223 might be enough to take out a wolf. I may be wrong, but we're about to find out. We're still gonna go after a fox or a coyote, something in this video, but for now, our target has shifted to the wolf. Undoubtedly, the better weapon for this situation would be the 308 AR. You don't want to mess with wolves, okay? You want to go ahead and kill them as soon as possible. Especially these when they're working in a pack, they will kill you. It's going to be interesting to test out the AR though, because the AR theoretically should be the best gun to take out a pack of wolves. So this right here may give us the upper hand, but with it only being a 223, we may find out the hard way. Let me look up on Google real quick. Is 223 enough for a wolf? Let's see what it is in real life. Is 223 big enough for wolves? It says with 223, it's absolutely critical that you select high quality hunting grounds. I would say the same for deer. You can kill deer with a 223, but man, you better pick a good ammo to do. And unfortunately in this game, they don't give you good ammo. So let me make sure everything's ready. I need this to be zoomed out because uh, if they get close to me, here's what I'm doing. I'm popping the scope off and I'm going iron sights. That's the best, that's my best option, you know? Dude, we're getting really close. We're getting into some dangerous territory. There's a fox right there, buddy. All right, so he shouldn't have went far. He toppled over. The wolves are running, the wolves are running. Missed that, didn't I? Ah, man, the wolves ran. Dang it, dude, dang it. Well, I mean, we got to take out a red fox. That's what we were after anyhow. I still may track down those wolves and see what I can do about them, but regardless, red fox, especially this close range, 223 at this kind of range just literally shreds anything. But once it gets the distance, it's really only good for uh, smaller animals. Perfect heart shot, honestly, pretty perfect. I don't think there was any way that fox was getting out of that. Now let me try to get one of those dang wolves. I may get lucky and be able to sneak up on these wolves or something or at least get close enough to tag one with a shot they seem like they headed out pretty far all right boys i spent the last 10 minutes looking for wolves but i think they were looking for me too they just threw out a warning call to me and uh they're nervous i'm gonna go ahead and take the shot guys i don't want them to run away this time I gotta be careful. Oh my goodness, there's a ton over there. If they decide to come over here, that could be bad news, man. I'm gonna stay right here and just keep picking them off the best I can. I'll go over there and look for bodies later, but for now, I'm gonna just try to take them out because they don't seem like they're moving that much, which is good. That was a gut shot, but I mean, hey, I'll take it. I don't know if the game's glitching or what, but these animals are just sitting still. They're like not running away. They're just staying in the same spot, which is pretty good for making a lot of money and killing a lot of animals, I suppose. But man, dude, we're gonna find out real quick what the 223 can do. I'm curious to see how many of these are actually gonna die because I've not seen any actually topple over, but I've put a lot of shots into quite a bit of them. This may be the real deal. If I had to throw it away, I could just wipe out a whole pack right here. As long as they don't start charging me, I'll be all right. Look at that one's got his head down. They may be heading out now. That one's getting awfully close. 
So, like, I'm having a hard time killing these or something. I mean, I'm not really understanding what's going on because I've shot a literal ton of these. You watched all the shots right there. I've not seen a single one go down. Now, maybe I walk over here and I'll start finding bodies. I don't know, but, like, yeah, I mean, you can see it put a lot of circles on it, but not a lot of circles, honestly. At the rate I was shooting them, I should have killed about 10 to 15 because I should have put kill shots on a ton of them and i just don't know how many i actually killed so we're over here at the at the massacre location i'm seeing one body so that's a good sign it took one shot killed him i don't know how long it took him to die but i ain't been able to find another one i found that one but that's it i ain't found another one it's like this thing don't kill the wolf it's like it just hits them i can see down there's another wolf so that's a good thing i'm not kidding i probably shot 10 to 15 of them with what should be kill shots and i don't know if it's going to kill them or not there's another one dead okay there we go that's what we're talking about it might kill them. It's just taking time. And I mean, you can think about it. A 22 can kill anything. It might take it a long time for it to finally die. And if it takes forever to kill it, ah, that ain't really killing it, is it? We don't just want to kill animals. We want to effectively and quickly kill them. And you know what? I shot it in the butt. That one's on me, man. That one's on me. I don't really know why, how that happened, but I'll, I accept it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that Jamal? Is that Jamal? Okay. Oh, okay. I thought that was a... I thought he was the enemy. I was about to let one fly right at him. Here's one double lung or lung liver. Here's another one. I shot him three times. Different places every time. There's one sitting there for us. A lung shot and got him we're killing them it's just taking a long time to do it and i mean that's not necessarily ethical hunting in my opinion that's one thing with this round like hey i shot him in the butt yeah i thought it'd go through him but it stopped at the tailbone hey no cap though we made quite a bit of money off that i have sixty-six thousand dollars, so that's pretty solid not gonna lie if there's a specific gun you want me to test in this game let me know down in the comments below because i have money to burn besides that click right over here if you want to see the time where i got a dime Diamond Wolf, 100% from luck, or right over here for the time where I tested out the 6.5 Creedmoor in the game.